On May 19th, voters in the Central Valley Central School District will head to the polls to vote on a proposed $73.6 million building renovation and improvement project. This project is budget neutral, meaning that due to state aid and other factors, this project will not cause any tax increases. Originally when the committees were working together, we were looking at um, $15 million worth of red. And when I say red, that would be non aidable Through phasing the project, through the way um, we're looking at doing the project and making adjustments within the project, which are going to be ongoing, now there's no tax impact. Zero. In actuality, it's going to cost us less to build the buildings than not. Two years ago, when the communities voted to merge two districts into one, they had a mission to provide students with a relevant, progressive, educational, and social foundation to graduate all students as lifelong learners prepared for a career in college. Many students and community members have already seen the positive changes brought about by the merger. It's giving the kids a lot more broader knowledge, and I think that's what the students need. They need a lot more extracurricular activities to keep them involved. Um, to keep them community oriented. There's definitely more opportunities like music wise and athletics and learning. Every year here in, in the surrounding districts we were cutting teachers, cutting staff, cutting programs. We're in year two of the merger and things seem to be going really good. For instance, my daughter here at Jarvis is her first year in the middle school. She was involved with a ski club. She's involved with an after school Lego robotics program. I take two classes that were not previously offered by either district, Calculus BC and an independent study physics. So we have so many more academic offerings like computer programming, which I also take, and there's just so many opportunities. It's really neat to see the kids in study hall taking a different classes now. I've got a Mandarin Chinese teacher down the hall. We've added a ton of uh, College Now courses. The kids no longer have three, four study halls a day. They have one if they're lucky, and if not, they're taking any of these electives. They're really getting involved back in education, unlike before. There's clearly a demand on the part of the community to have the best for their students. They've come together to do so, overcoming rivalries. And now the next step is bringing a plan forth to the community that helps realize that whole merger piece in the structural form. Without the structures, we're floundering, or would be floundering. So this capital project realizes that promise of allowing students to follow their passions, and we have to have the facilities to provide our students with those academic programs to prepare them for jobs that don't even exist yet. In order to provide a 21st century education like the community envisioned, students will need to be taught in a 21st century learning environment. Physical changes to the elementary buildings will include making the two schools equal in size with an equal amount of classroom and learning areas. The entrances to the buildings will have added security and energy efficient upgrades to the HVAC and lighting systems. Jarvis Middle School will see the most changes both on the exterior and interior. A new bus loop, additional parking areas, a walking loop, basketball court, and new green space will be added to the outside. On the inside, a new media and technology center and learning zones for project-based education will be constructed. The Central Valley Academy will have space made for the district's Career Pathways Initiative, more space for a collaborative work environment, and new classrooms for career and technology programs. A new turf athletic field will also be added. Voting takes place on May 19th. Check the district website for polling locations and contact the district office for more information.